Did you know that in the 2018 World Cup, Ronaldo reportedly clocked the fastest speed on the field at the age of 33? Unfortunately, it seems there's more to developing real in-game speed other than doing sprints a couple times a week. Fortunately, I've already done the research for you and in this video, I'm going to give you some practical tips to run faster during a match and hopefully win more games. One, repeated sprint ability. According to science, repeated sprint ability is the ability of an athlete to recover and maintain maximal effort during subsequent sprints. For example, an athlete who has excellent RSA will be able to run faster towards the end of a game. On the other hand, an athlete who has poor RSA becomes very slow throughout the game, even if they started out very fast. Number two, intensive tempo runs. If you want to improve your repeated sprint ability, then intensive tempo runs is one of the most effective ways to do so. Charlie Francis, one of the most respected coaches in track and field defines intensive tempos as lower intensity sprints with incomplete recovery. According to this study, one way to perform this type of training would be with a sprint that lasts under 10 seconds with a recovery time of under 60 seconds. If you're wondering how to add this into your training, intensive tempo runs are preferably completed towards the end of the week. However, this is only one part of the equation and the next point is equally important. Number three, in-game sprints. Athletes must run fast as they react, turn, stop, start, and complete many other maneuvers in awkward position. Here are five in-game sprints to train for. Curve line sprints, fast accelerations, fast accelerations and reaccelerations, fast decelerations with quick turns, fast decelerations with quick turns and reaccelerations. Four, improve your 40. I've been thinking a lot about how the 40 yard dash, which is 36.5 meters, is a foundational sprint distance to focus on for most team sport athletes. Here's why. Less than 40 yards, you're not able to really hit your top speed. Longer than 40 yards requires you to work on speed maintenance, whereas 40 yards is a solid distance to work on your starts, acceleration, and top speed. That's two minutes, hope that helps. If you want to see a full acceleration workout, Proved by an Olympian, click here.